In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Binabati kayo ng parokya ng Jesus, mabuting pastol, Concepcion Tarlac. Nasaan kayo na lupalop na magpalakpakan nga kayo kung nasaan kayo. Ayun po sila. With joy in our hearts, we gather together to pray. Especially, we ask the intercession of our Blessed Mother, our loving Mother, so that she may lead us to her Son, Jesus Christ. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and be sorry for them. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your Spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with the spiritual gifts, that He may give us a mind pleasing to you, and graciously conform us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We all be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priest and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some were Sadducees and some Pharisees. So he called out before the Sanhedrin, My brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection or angels or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar occurred, and some scribes belonging to the Pharisee party stood up and sharply argued, We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul will be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage. For just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. 
I say to the Lord, My Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your fatal one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, and the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. We stand to honor the Holy Gospel. one as you father are in me and I in you that the world may believe that you sent me says the Lord alleluia alleluia A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, and I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me and that you love them even as you love me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave to me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I have made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love which you love me may be, may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. We all be seated. Tulad natin, si Jesus ay nangarap din. And in the presence of His disciples, pinarinig niya ang isang natatanging panalangin, ang kanyang pangarap para sa kanyang kawan. 
that they may be one, as you, Father, and I are one. Pagtakaisa. Merong isang kwento nung bagong Pope, Pasip, Pope Francis, dumungaw siya doon sa kanyang balkunahe at binindisyon niya sa kanyang mga salita ang mga naro naroon. Sabi niya, Tutti homini! Ang ibig niya sabihin, Blessed be mankind! Pagkatapos ng kanyang pagbati, sabi ng isang grupo ng kababayihan, po but naman human kind lang mankind but hindi naman kasama yung mga woman kind the following week sabi ng kwento bumati uli si Pope Francis do sa kanyang balkonahin sinabi tutti homini et femini malakpakan yung mga lalaki at mga babae eh pagkatapos ng kanyang uh, pagbati, nandun naman yung grupo ng mga LGBT. Sabi nila, po, ba't naman na uh, mankind lang at saka womankind lang? Paano naman kami? Sabi nila. Eh sabi ni po, the following Sunday, pagdungaw niya, sabi niya, Tutti homini et femini et Tutti pruti. <laughs> Joke yun. Wala naman tumawa sa inyo eh. <laughs> Ang daming pagkakaiba natin ngayong panahon ito. Dito lang sa atin. Kapampangan, nagsisimba ngayon. Ilocano, Pangasinan, May Tagalog. Ang dami pitong libo may git ba naman ang isla natin? Ang hirap pag pinag-uusapan ang pagkakaisa, ang pagiging isa natin. At ang nakakalungkot pa nito, mismong sa basic structure ng ating bansa, ng ating community, or even the church, for that matter, the family, Nasa danger na zone yung pagkakaisa ng pamilya. Nagkakahiwahiwalay dahil sa trabaho. Nagkakahiwahiwalay dahil sa kanilang kanya-kanyang mga pangarap din sa buhay. Nagkakaibay ba na tuloy yung pananaw nila? Kaya yung pamilyang mismo ay nasa bingit ng kadilikaduan. Sabi ni Pope Francis sa atin, Just as there are no perfect husbands and perfect wives and perfect children, there are no perfect families. Nasusukat ang tatag at pagkakaisa ng isang pamilya hindi sa perfection ng bawat miyembro kundi ito ay napapanatili lamang dahil sa isang dahilan at walang iba kung hindi ang pag-ibig sapagkat sinasabi sa atin mismo ng Panginoon kung paano mga ma at siya ay isa dahil sa isang bagay ang pag-ibig yun din ang batubalaning mag papanatili sa pagkakaisa ng pamilya, ng simbahan, at ng ating bayan, at ng ating bansa. Pag-ibig. The father loves the son, kaya merong anak, the second person. The father and the son loves the Holy Spirit, kaya may pangatlong persona ang nagbubuklod na batubalani sa kanilang pagkiging isa, bagaman magkakaibang persona, ay ang pag-ibig. At yun din ang dapat nating palaging isabuhay. Ang pag-ibig ang magpapanatili sa atin ng pagkakaisa. 
Natatapos lang ng eleksyon. Alam nyo naman, ng mga pari nyo, pag eleksyon, nagkakaroon ng pagkawatak-watak. Dahil hindi sasakupin ng simbahan ang puso't isipan ng bawat isa. Nagkakaroon ng pagkawatak-watak. Kaya nung matapos yung eleksyon, pinaalala ko muli, sabi ko sa kanila, walang natalo, walang nanalo, kung magkakawatak-watak tayo. Kayong mga natalo, hindi kayo natalo sapagkat you have loved your country. You have loved your province. You have loved your city or town. May sayang ba kapag ikaw ay nagmahal at binigay mo sa minamahal mo? Walang nasasayang kapag nagmahal ka at binigay mo yon sa iniibig mo. Kaya binigay mo eh. Dahil iniibig mo siya. Pangihinayangan mo yan kung hindi mo siya iniibig. Natalo? Hindi ka natalo sapagkat nagmahal ka. And when you give something to somebody whom you love, you have lost nothing. Walang nawala sa iyo. Pagkain na masarap, isusubo mo na lang. Pero gusto ng iyong minamahal na anak, iluluwa mo pa yan at ibibigay at ipakakain sa kanya. <laughs> Alam niyo, na-experience ko ito nung panahon ng lahar doon sa ating bayan sa Kapas at Concepcion. Noong pumutok ang bulkan, umulan ng abo. Lahat ng mga kapatid nating aitas ay nando sa Dominican School ng Kapas. From a faraway Paris, dyan sa may bandang Pangasinan ako na-assign, nag-ipon ako ng bigas, pagkain, pandilimon, tinapay. Dinala ko doon sa Dominican School sa mga aitas. Naganap ako ng maba pagbigyan. Nakita ko doon yung isang babaeng aita na nanay nasa kandungan niya yung nakalupaypay na bata. Eto ka ako, bibigay ko. Nanlalambot yung anak niya sa kanyang kandungan. Pagkabigay ko doon sa isang supot ng tinapay, kinuha ng nanay. Pinunit niya yung plastik, <coughs> sinubo niya yung tatlo. Sabi ko sa sarili ko, pambira naman ang nanay na ito. <coughs> eh, hindi mo na itong anak niya yung inunay, na, nakalupaypay sa kandungan niya. Alam niyo, hindi pa ako natatapos mag-isip ng masama. Nakita ko yung nanay na yun ang aita. Yung sinubo niyang tatlong pandilimo, iniluwa niya uli, at unti-unti niyang sinubo, doon sa bibig nung kanyang anak na nakalupaypay sa kanyang kandungan, napagtanto ko na hindi makanguya yung bata kaya yung nanay ang ngumuya meron pang kasamang laway. <laughs> At pinakay doon sa anak. Totoong nangyayari yun. Nakapagmahal mo, isusubo mo na lang. Iluluwa mo pa para ibigay mo sa minamahal. Yun ang batubalani ng pagkakaisa. Huwag nating aalisin ang pag-ibig sa ating puso, sa pamilya, sa bayan, sa ating bansa. Kahit magkakaibay pa tayo ng pananaw, kultura, pamaraan, maaari pa rin tayong magkaisa. Because unity for God is not uniformity. Pare-pareho ang ayos ng buhok Pare-pareho ang takbang at bilang nito. Kundi there can be unity despite of divergence. Hindi pwedeng yung katawan ay puro ulo. Hindi pwede ang katawan ay puro kamay. Hindi pwede ang katawan ay puro paa. We will become monsters. 
ang katawan ay bayba. May ulo, may paa, may kamay, may ilong, may mata. Ganyan din ang pagkakaisang dinadasal ng Panginoon. Ang sabi niya, There are also those who will believe in me through their word, bagaman hindi kasama sa kawan at pamilya. Bukas ito dahil sa pag-ibig. Eh, Bader, eh, mapangibig naman kami. Pero bakit hindi tayo pwedeng magkaisa? Sabi ni Pope, Just as there are no perfect families, dahil walang perfect husbands and wives and children, pero kung mayroon ang bawat isa ng pagpapakumbaba upang makapagpatawad, katulad ng Panginoong Diyos, forgiveness, kapag hindi nawawala ang pagpapatawad, mananatili tayong magkakabuklod bilang mga pamilya. Mga kapatid, kay Kristo, Tapos pagdasal natin ang bansa natin. Pagdasal natin ang mga pamilyang nasa bingit ng pagkakahiwalayan. Pagdasal natin ang mga pamilya at bayang hindi nagkakasundo. That God may again imbue them with the fire of the Holy Spirit love. Na muli tayong bigyan ng mapagpakumbabang puso dahil sa nag-umapoy. Oh, na pag-ibig na yon sa iba para makapagpatawad pa rin tayo kung mayroong nagkamali at nagkakasala sa atin. Kaya pakisabi mo sa katabi mo, pinatatawad na kita. Pakisabi mo sa katabi mo, pera yung utang mo. <laughs> pakisabi mo rin sa katabi mo, love you. Tumayo na tayo na Jesus uh, prayed to the Father for unity. Waiting for the Pentecost, let us come to the Father and pray for the true unity among all His children. Let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. that all members of the Church may be one in heart and in mind, in union with our Pope and our Bishops. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the world may believe in Christ by the united examples of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those baptized in Christ may be brought into the visible unity of one Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That each family may be made one in faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be called to perfect union with God forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now ask the Lord and He will give us. Holy Father, through these prayers, may all people be led to that unity which you share with the one you have loved before the foundation of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We all be seated.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hand as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glorious with one voice, we acclaim. by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with uh, Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, and all his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Pakita natin ang tanda ng pagkakaisa nating mga katoliko at kristyano. Peace be with you.
kneel. Behold, Jesus, the God of love, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called this supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring and restore us through our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Isang karangalang maglingkod ng mga Eucharistic ministers ng parokya, Lector, commentator, at saka ng choir at ng mga altar servers sa tangin yung lingkod uh, na maglingkod sa misang ito sa mapaghimala na santuario ng ating mahal na inang si Maria. Sa mga naririto na may karamdaman, please bow your head and let us pray for God's blessing. God, our Almighty Father, may your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please raise your ros rosaries and other religious articles in memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ascended. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God.